Welcome to the History AI Podcast, where the past comes alive with facts, anecdotes, and a dash of humor. Here are your hosts, Chuck and Marco. Hey everyone. Welcome back to the History AI Podcast. I'm your host Chuck. And I'm Marco. Great to be with you all as we unravel another historical tale, and today's episode promises to be explosive. Indeed. We're diving deep into the life of Mary Ludwig Hayes, a revolutionary figure, and I don't mean that just because of the Revolutionary War. Oh Chuck, that pun was, revolutionary. All right Marco. Without further ado, let's set the stage. The 18th century, colonies, revolution, and amidst all that chaos, a woman whose courage stood out. Mary Ludwig Hayes, better known as Molly Pitcher. Before we get to canons and war tales, let's start at the beginning. Born in 1754 in New Jersey, Mary was the daughter of German immigrants. And believe it or not, there's not a ton of info about her early years. It's a good reminder that back then, not everyone's childhood was meticulously documented on say, Colonial Facebook or ye old Instagram. Colonial Facebook. Just imagine, just churn butter. Hashtag colonial life hashtag blessed. Mary didn't have a formal education, which was common for girls at the time. She worked as a domestic servant for Dr. William Irvine in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. This is where she would meet her future husband. Ah, young love amidst the revolution. William Hayes was a barber by profession. But let's not forget, barbers of the 18th century did a lot more than just cut hair. They were also surgeons. Talk about a double threat. Want a shave and an amputation? By 1777, William had joined the Continental Army, and Mary didn't just stay behind wringing her hands. No sir. She decided to join him and many other women in supporting the troops. Yup, Mary took on the role of a camp follower. No, not the Instagram kind Marco. Right. Camp followers cooked, washed, mended, and nursed wounded soldiers. But her most iconic moment? The Battle of Monmouth in 1778. It was a scorching day. Soldiers were dehydrated, and Mary was ferrying pitchers of water to them, hence the nickname, Molly Pitcher. And then something unimaginable happened. William, who was manning a cannon, collapsed, either from heat exhaustion or from an injury. And what does Mary do? She doesn't panic or flee. She steps in and takes over the cannon. Man down no problem I got this. And she continued firing that cannon, aiding the American forces. Just imagine the sheer courage and determination. Definitely not your everyday story from the 18th century. Sadly, William Hayes passed away in 1786. It's debated how he died, but what's clear is that Mary's resilience shone through. She went on to marry another Revolutionary War veteran, John Macaulay. And after the war, Mary was recognized for her courage. In fact, the state of Pennsylvania awarded her an annual pension of $40 for her service, a significant amount back then. It's a testament to her lasting impact. While her tale might be embellished over the years, Mary Ludwig Hayes serves as a symbol of bravery, standing tall in the face of adversity. And speaking of standing tall, let's take a quick break to hear about our sponsor. Introducing the game changer in energy boosts, Strike Force Energy. Elevate your drinks without the sugar without the calories. Whether you're hitting the gym, the office, or the great outdoors, a dash of Strike Force Energy supercharges your drink and you. Dive into StrikeForceEnergy.com to explore. And hey, here's a little spark use code UTSALAX24 at checkout for a cool 20% off. That's UTSALAX24. Strike Force Energy, the power-up you've been waiting for. Welcome back. We're discussing the life of Mary Ludwig Hayes, a true Revolutionary War heroine. After the war, Mary led a relatively quiet life, passing away in 1832 at the ripe age of 78. A statue commemorating her bravery stands in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, reminding us of her incredible legacy. It's easy to focus on the big names of history, but stories like Mary's give texture to the tapestry of our past. She may not have been a general or a politician but her impact resonates through time. Absolutely. So, the next time you're facing a challenge, think of Molly Pitcher, taking over that cannon, and remember the power of determination. And maybe, don't try to operate a cannon yourself, leave that to professionals or well, revolutionary war heroines. Great point Chuck. 
That wraps up today's episode folks. We hope you enjoyed our deep dive into Mary Ludwig Hay's life. Stay curious, and remember, history is not just about dates and battles, but also about the people and their incredible stories. Until next time. I'm Chuck. And I'm Marco. Keep exploring the past. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share the podcast and we will see you again tomorrow.